Welcome everyone to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Report. This is for May 7th and 8th, 2016. I'm Athen and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. All right, so we just had that new moon on a Friday, which has been the new beginning with our independence, that direct energy, and perhaps getting that ball moving in our lives. So that's what this next lunar cycle is all about, and the moon will be in Taurus these two days, which is the beginning of this forward-moving momentum. <clears throat> now, the thing about Taurus is that it is slow and steady, right? It is about this Earth sign. And so I think uh, these two days, it's great for enjoying the simple life taking it easy, taking it slow, and uh, tapping into perhaps the luxurious things in life, sensual things, whether it's that uh, good meal, the hot bath, and really being grateful for what we have in our lives is a great way of working with this, as well as connecting to nature. You know, that's essentially what Taurus is about, is everything that is derived from nature. So uh, great things there, and I think, again, moving anything forward in terms of new intentions, we're still in the crescent phase going into next week so there is a bit of that still lowered energy but the energy is starting to move forward and one thing i want to mention with this uh new moon is of course mercury still retrograde so a lot of things are about reflection and rethinking and redoing you know re-examining ourselves and our motivations and these kinds of things um, and also too in terms of the communication right bringing that extra attention to that the correspondence and anything else in that immediate environment now, in terms of Venus, things have been very direct with relationships and perhaps even independent in that regard. <clears throat> so still great for that, especially with the moon in Taurus. It's going to accentuate the fact that maybe we can enjoy some active things, all right? Some of that fiery energy with Taurus, right? The ruler of Taurus Venus is in that fiery Aries. So some things to consider there with that as well. And um, again, in those interrelationships. So that's the backdrop in terms of the aspects here these two days we do have a very important one the sun will be trining up to pluto so there is some deep change and in fact this has been the case with this new moon which was forming that kite um, and part of that kite was that trine up to pluto so here particularly on saturday very good for diving deep now pluto is a very transformative planet and although it does come easier with the trine it's still important to have that willingness to let go of fears let go of those old patterns. And this might specifically do <clears throat> with what we enjoy in life. You know, this is what the sun represents is our passions, our interests, our excitement in life, right? So it's good to see where we might be attached to specific things that we enjoy, specific ways of expressing ourselves, old ways of expressing ourselves, of enjoying things, and letting go of any old patterns that could then result in a much easier form of self-expression. A very powerful self-expression in fact and I think Saturday is great for all of those things whether it's creative whether it's playful it's entertainment being entertained entertaining others all of this can be very deep and supportive so that's gonna be uh, the strongest energy on Saturday and then as we go into Sunday we do have a grand cross forming up with the moon all right so this is pulling on the Saturn energy which has been in Scorpio so I feel like even on both days, because the moon will oppose up to Mars the very late part of Saturday. <clears throat> so all weekend, I think having this balance of while enjoying the simple pleasures, remembering that things are very deep right now. You know, we've got Mars retrograde in Scorpio. We've got Saturn retrograde making his way back into Scorpio. So this is all about reexamining where we're putting our energy, particularly with Mars, right? And reflecting on that and uh, seeing what really matters in life. Where can we be more intimate with ourselves primarily as a foundation? Where can we be more open? And again, just like that Pluto energy, where can we release those old patterns and maybe do some healing? And at the end of the day, what Scorpio is really about is about acceptance, right? So I think seeing the deeper side of the enjoyments of life is a good way of working with it because the Taurus energies will still be there with the moon here, right? But it's a reminder that there is, of course, more than that or more to that right and enjoying things in that deeper meaningful and intimate way so i think that's going to be strong with the uh, grand cross because of that opposition up to saturn and just being patient and remembering too this is that square up to neptune that everything is uncertain at the moment specifically with what we're building and how things are unfolding what does the future have in store is uncertain especially with that square up to jupiter 
right? But a lot of this is starting to shift because what's happening now is Jupiter is going to start to go direct tomorrow. In fact, we'll probably feel this bit of station. Jupiter's not an awfully personal planet, so it's not like Mercury or something like that in terms of us feeling it. But we might start to feel like there is this shift in regards to what's possible, right? What is possible in life? And a lot of that has been reflective for about five months. You know, it's been more of an internal thing, or perhaps re-examining what's possible, rethinking about it. But now that energy starts to move forward to where we can see it, perhaps in the external, or it becomes a bit clear. Now it's still, again, the outcomes unsure and uncertain, and that's the whole point of that Neptune energy. But there is a bit of that optimism, I think. And as we go into next week, this will become more apparent because Jupiter does have to gain that momentum. But this is optimism and it's wisdom about what we enjoy in life and tapping into that enjoyment, especially with the North Node shifting into Leo this early part of the year, now middle part of the year. All right. So as Jupiter stations, it's a good time to just kind of pause, reflect in terms of what we've learned these past five months regarding what's possible, regarding our worldview, regarding the future. And I think specifically with the patience of all of that and the willingness to let go. And that could create, again, this shift, the shift of then starting to gain that forward moving momentum of cultivating these possibilities, of cultivating this sense of self-expression, these interests, these passions, and these kinds of things. And like I said, it does take time, but there is that pausing energy going into Monday. And then also going into Monday, Venus does sextile to Neptune, so the second half of the day, although good to be, again, grounded, structured with that grand cross and patient, there is a bit of that enjoyment that can be had about letting go. Maybe with uh, those values, Venus sextiling up to Neptune could be easy going with the simple pleasures of life, could be easy going with relationships, etc. But that's going to be strongest tomorrow. All right, so that's the weekend in a nutshell. Definitely that Taurus energy. Great time to be enjoying the uh, pleasures of life, particularly on the material side, connecting to nature slowly getting that energy moving from this new moon in Aries, but yet reflective with Mercury retrograde. A lot of planets are retrograde, including that Mars, which is the ruler of Aries, right? Re-examining ourselves, re-examining where we're putting our energy, right? And being open to change, being flexible is very important, especially in this early phase of the lunar cycle, right? And uh, Saturday could be very deep and transformative. I think we're willing to get rid of old energies, and that can be very powerful on Saturday. Then going into Sunday, a bit of that patience with that Grand Cross. One thing I want to mention too is Mercury is going to be trining up to the North Node exact. So although the North Node is not a personal type of energy, we could be learning about some things, particularly learning about what we enjoy in life. And again, learning more about ourselves, especially with that retrograde Mercury. So there could be some insights on Sunday. But taking it slow nonetheless, and then as we go into tomorrow, there is this bit of shift with what's possible. And I think more specifically, if starting to put energy into these possibilities. All right. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on Monday.